Hello and welcome. This is Angelus John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. This tutorial we're going to be going through the Master Detail Flow template. I'm going to go through a great deal of it and try to explain it, but it's a difficult template to use and on top of that I, I don't like the way they present it. Uh, the overall arching idea is that we've got this cat list activity. We've got some we got a fragment and then it's designed to look like this and if you click one of these things it goes into a, another view but if you've got the tablet and it will go actually do both views at the same time depend, depending on the size of your view screen and then it'll call on both of these rather than just one and uh, the dummy content is where we get all the, inf the information we see inside the main content of the uh, app this right here uh, so that's what that is and in order to actually use this there are so many things that you would have to change um, so for beginners this is not a very good um, app to study but I'll go through it and show you some of the things uh, you create the master detail flow by going in here clicking next and then you click object kind object kind plural and title and for mine, I put in cat, cats, and endangered cats, I believe. But that's what I put in there. And that's why you'll see mine all have to do with cats, because I'm going off that big cat theme that I started in the last tutorial. First of all, I suggest you go through and read all the notes that there are here uh, and try to read some of the uh, code. And the more you read, the more you understand, the better off you are. And uh, there's not a whole bunch of code here to read, which is good. And a lot of this stuff is kind of archaic and going to be hard to understand. But they do have links and things that you can follow and go get more details about, which is always helpful. And I'm going to be putting a whole bunch of links for further information at the bottom of this uh, tutorial in the details description. So uh, that should be helpful too. All right, this is what it looks like when you run it on a tablet size. And this is my customized tablet. So the uh, size is actually reduced by about, oh, 66%. So it looks pretty much like everything else when we're running it in uh, portrait view. But if we turn it to landscape view, it'll run it like this. It'll load the details along with the menu and this is what it looks like when you run it on your regular emulator just an emula emulating a regular phone now you'll notice when you click a button it switches back to a single view and then you go back but when you turn it sideways it does the same thing it does not actually uh, open both views at the same time as it does in the tablet. Uh, this is a multi-view, multi-device item uh, and you'll see that when you look in the XML you'll see the different sizes and then that's what it's calling on. It's judging the different sizes available and choosing the appropriate size. See this statement right here, use a loader? What does that mean? Well, let's talk about what a loader is. Um, you can use loaders in activities and in fragments. The loaders have been available since API 11, so for pretty a pretty long period of time. Loaders can be used to load basically any kind of data from any data source. For example, loaders will work on separate threads so that your app carries on while the loader gets the data. And loaders are able to monitor the data source for any changes and they can update that data that it gives to you. Loaders will automatically reconnect to the loader's cursor uh, when being recreated after a configuration change. Um, and for this reason, that's why they don't have to requery the same data. Well, you might ask yourself, what's a cursor? The cursor is an interface that provides random read-write access to the result set returned by a database query. Let's go in here to catListActivity.java and let's look at the what makes this split this up between two possible opportunities 
this if statement right here will view will be present only in the large screen layouts and then you look down one more click and this if this is the m2 pane so this is for the two pane version if you also read this it says if m2 pane so this is only used with wide tablet devices and this is used with narrow width devices that has two separate pages if you will for information and this does, shows all the information in two panes on the same page Another thing I'd like to point out when you go to layout cat list cat list for both the uh, W90P and the regular cat list you'll see this line right here um, as far as I understand this is something that Google Play use uh, uses for filtering purposes you can actually take this line out and it will not affect your app in any way so it's there ignore it you also Basically. see down here the tools list items layout cat list content uh, this is specifying the layout for the list items for uh, these both of these views and if you go to cat list content you'll see that uh, right here this is how it's laid out how that works I changed the wrap content on the width to 5 dp and if you come back over here and look it squished it down to 5 dp and it's actually cut the numbers <laughs> uh, pretty much in half so that's what that does and that's where that how that works and if you come in here in cat list activity java you can see cat list contents being inflated right here in this override view holder on create view holder and that's where it's inflated all right now let's go into activity cat detail xml look some of the aspects of it this right here tools context cat detail activity now what this is 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 this is how the XML is determining which activity uh, this layout is associated with and it'll use this as a basic guide sort of um, to create a default theme uh, for this display in fact if we take it out we in fact do not receive an error and it runs as if normal so it doesn't really make any difference other than uh, the ability to uh, help get the theme you notice here this is all enclosed in the collapsing toolbar and this is the actual uh, primary ability to create the collapsing toolbar I'll put some links on uh, then the description for a collapsing toolbar uh, and all the all the major important things at least I believe uh, to be found in this code here another place I'd like to look at is in here in the dummy content now the gummy dummy content you should look familiar to you because it's basically details about item more details about information this is all the this information in the content that you're getting comes from dummy de dummy content now if you understand how this works and you can follow the code that's awesome but I have a feeling that most people out there including myself find this very difficult to wade through because this is of all the templates that we've covered so far probably the most complicated and uh, in my opinion poorly documented and a lot of this information that is put in here is again I've also talked about uh, people explaining things that are experts to people who are not experts it's like a nuclear physicist trying to explain fusion to a first grader sometimes uh, the communications is just not there so yeah I don't like this I think and uh, this is one of the things that I'll probably be doing later on is while I've tried to go through and show you some of the details of it it's not very manageable it's not very customizable in my opinion uh, it's very complicated and I think this is one of the few uh, that it would actually just be easier to write from scratch uh, create your own version than it would be to use what's provided here and this is Aceless John and we've been looking at the master detail float template and uh, yeah Glad you joined me and I hope you've learned something, um, but 
look forward to a future tutorial in which we do a better job about covering this and breaking it down to small pieces because it really is uh, for beginners just way too much information way too fast so keep on keeping on and uh, don't forget to thumbs up and to subscribe